Legal battle continues over California's Proposition 8. Federal judge, of course, ruled yesterday that the voter-approved ban on same-sex marriage is unconstitutional. We just heard from a same-sex couple before the break that just got married here in the state of Georgia. It's not legal here in Georgia, but they had a ceremony here. We want to hear from the other side of the issue now. And joining me now is Wendy Wright, president of Concerned Women for America. Ms. Wright, thank you so much for being here, ma'am. Uh, let me just get your reaction to yesterday. When you initially heard the reports of the ruling, struck it down unconstitutional, your reaction was what? Uh, well, it wasn't a surprise because this judge had mishandled the case from the very beginning. In fact, the U.S. Supreme Court and the Ninth Circuit both had to intervene before the trial was even over to stop the way the judge was mishandling the case. Uh, for example, he yeah. was actively intimidating the witnesses so that the witnesses would not testify. And then mm -hmm. in his ruling, he claimed that there wasn't evidence to back up the case. Well, that's because he wouldn't allow the witnesses to testify. Now, Ms. Right. Um, you, you're saying the judge here that this went awry because not because the judge uh, mishandled necessarily what was going on with the law or misread the law or misinterpreted. You're just saying this guy's a bad judge. That's the argument you're making here now. It's both. He also misinterpreted and, and misunderstood the law and frankly imposed his own opinion. And you read the decision, and he says basically things like uh, that there's no benefit to children having a mother and a father, that it's archaic to think that there are differences between men and women, and that they have we have unique roles in society and in marriage. So, yes, he mishandled the law, and he mishandled the case. All right, well, uh, let me, let's just go away from the legalities. I'm certainly not a, a lawyer uh, here. Uh, we'll let the lawyers work it out. We know this is not done in the courts. So let me just hear from you. What is wrong with that couple I just interviewed? What is your problem with those two having a marriage license to say their wedding uh, was in fact legal and recognized by the state of Georgia? Well, let's first understand that there are no restrictions on homosexual couples being able to make funeral arrangements, visiting each other in the hospital, uh, providing their inheritance for whoever they choose. So there's been a lot of misinformation. Marriage, however, is a, a vehicle to ensure that children will have a mother and a father. Uh, marriage is a bringing two people who are different, as in male and female, but complex one another and it's important for children to have a mother and a father so uh, while people are free to make whatever living arrangements they want mm -hmm. they they're not free to redefine marriage to satisfy themselves All right. what happens I guess ma'am um, help us understand what do you think will happen to the country or what do you think is happening in states like Massachusetts uh, Iowa Connecticut places that do recognize uh, same-sex marriage now I guess what is happening in those states that is some kind of a degradation of our society? Right. In fact, you can look at Massachusetts to see that the discrimination occurs against sexuals once same-sex marriage is allowed that uh, children are taught in school as, as young as kindergarten about homosexuality and homosexual relationships even when parents ask that it not be taught to their children uh, people trying to enter certain professions like the legal profession are not allowed to if they don't embrace the idea of same-sex marriage well, what, so uh, Ms. White, Ms. White are, are you saying we're, we're going to be going towards widespread uh, discrimination of heterosexuals if we have gay marriage? You can look at what's already happened in Massachusetts and in fact the people who do believe that marriage is between one man and one woman end up being discriminated against. But you think we could see that on a wide scale? There have been some isolated incidents, I will certainly uh, give you that in reports we have seen, but you think on a widespread uh, level uh, that's going in to happen? In New Mexico, a photographer declined to be hired to use her services to photograph a same-sex ceremony. She was sued. There are cases like that around the country in which people, a, a professor, at a, a, or I'm sorry, a, a, an employee of a university in, at Toledo who simply wrote a letter to the editor of a local newspaper, not on behalf of the university, but just expressing her own views about marriage, she herself is black. She was fired from the university for well, expressing yes. her views. Well, yes, ma'am. I, I certainly said we have seen some isolated incidents out there, and you, you've reeled off a couple there. But uh, on both sides of this issue, I don't think there are bad people necessarily. I think there are good people who are, uh, disagree on things, certainly. So I, I want to ask you here, ma'am, um, I mean, do you have, do you know 
uh, gay people? Do you have gay friends? Do you have gay <laughs> couples that are friends as well? And I guess how yes. do you explain to them your opposition uh, and on a moral sense? And again, I, and I'm asking you because I certainly don't think you're a, a bad person, but I think we need to, it's important to have this conversation so people can hear on the other side, good people explain their views, even if it's opposing view. So help those people understand now your moral argument to two people, I mean, do you base it, I don't know if you're a very religious woman, just, just help them understand your argument. Yes. Well, yes, in fact, there are advocates even for same-sex marriage that said this ruling was shoddy. There are advocates for homosexual rights that say that marriage goes too far. And let's look at the uh, ultimately what this is about. Men and women are different. A mother and a father are different. A, to say that a man can replace a woman in a marriage is discrimination against women and denying the unique benefits that women bring to a marriage and to children. And the same is true the opposite, that to say that a woman can replace a man is discriminatory against men. Uh, oh, we've had a serious problem in this country of saying that the government can replace fathers in families, and that's ended up being harmful to our society and to our children. Uh, so we need to understand that there are unique differences between men and women, and we shouldn't deny those differences. Well, Ms. Wright, I absolutely appreciate you taking the time. I know this is a debate that's going to continue down the road, and we'll certainly see it in the courts down the road as well. Ms. Wright, we appreciate you coming in. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. All right, we're going to turn now at the moment to the war in Afghanistan. Yeah. An invisible enemy you've heard so much about, IEDs, with U.S. military.